Hey love bugs, it's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support as always, always totally appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Much love to you as well and protection. I've got divine protection around me. And whatever you're trying to come and bring my way, please, that is supposed to be seek, destroy, or distracting. It's coming right back to center. Except I'm going to send you love and light and blessings and healing because, hey, I'm sending that to everybody right now. <laughs> okay? So, anyways... The video I'm about to do today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka, stay solid in your boundaries at all costs. Karma debt is coming strong to collect. And they're not forgetting the address. They always say karma is not forgetting the address. You know, you don't know what people are doing to go against you. You know, like I always tell people, when you leveling up in your light, there's somebody leveling up in dark. When you going for God, people going for the devil. And you have to allow yourself to make sure you stay secure. Okay, know who you belong to. Who, who who's your daddy who's your spiritual daddy it's like who is your daddy you know I'm really going because it's just like when I say the mess is waking me up out of my sleep and I'm seeing how the world is just really going to start and I'm just like you gotta go it's just ain't this time I used to be that type of person goes tit for tat you can get ugly I can get very volatile with my words I can cut people with my words I be making people want to fight me with my words now it's just like you are not worth my energy okay and you have to be able to understand it's like the videos that i've been putting out you know knowing that you're you know you're going through restoration of the ego ego um ego um you know uh people will put their fear and insecurities on you and it will guide you towards your greatest strength you know thank them for that um experience which you truly do you know um and these are those different times where if you're getting confirmation you hearing things more than once hey that's your confirmation it's a spiritual acknowledgement and you gotta hey handle yourself accordingly this is at that time where you have gone through so many life lessons on clearing your karma you know we are trying to allow ourselves to manifest strongly into that you know that best version of ourselves being able to heal being able to let go changing the perspectives on how we see things you know having to understand you know what is god allowing us to wait for is going to be worth it the things we're going through is not going to be for the weak hearted we're going through some stuff and it, i mean it's going to hit deep it's going to get you into uh, uh, uncomfortable situations. You can be in a vibration of being happy, you know, giving God an honor to everything and being grateful when you wake up and all of a sudden when people moving in their damn insecurities and trying to place masks on you of how they feel about themselves and want to just ruin your whole day, you know, and it, it just it gets really crazy. And this is at that time where the universe is really telling you stay in your lane. You know, you've been getting a lot of downloads, you know, be proud of yourself because it took a lot to get where you're at, even when you're not exactly where you need to be or well, you are where you need to be, but you're not exactly where you want to be. But this is not this is all just temporary. This is just a pro, you know, a temporary stop for whatever God got for you in store is about to catapult. And it's just like, you know, regardless of what your enemies are doing, regardless of what people are trying to block you from or distract you from, remember what he has promised you. You are protected. You are being, you know, you're being divinely guided. If you're anointed, you're divine. You know, it is at that point when I tell you universe is in an uproar. They get very pissed off because it's like so many people are seeing these warnings where they're telling you stay in your lane. Heal. Forgive that person. Allow yourself to focus on what you need to let go of. Surrender. To what is no longer serving you allow yourself to go towards that path of solitude and hold yourself accountable being able to understand your part of playing in your um own uh your your uh suffering you know keep it real with yourself being authentic and a lot of time people don't do that it's a lot more easier to irritate somebody it's a lot more you know easier for you to try to block somebody on something feeling like you're you're uh you are uh you're able to be divinely guided towards happiness peace and prosperity and abundance but you feel like this person isn't god don't bless no mess don't feel like you can block somebody on their blessings and feel like god gonna guide you towards yours he ain't doing that 
you know um and and there's different things where god wants you to stay focused on your path you know whatever he's doing you you know if you have gone through uh dv you know domestic you know you're going through that allowing yourself to know your worth knowing that self love and the deepest of values a lot no, excuse me. Allowing yourself to, you know, heighten your standards, not settling for anything. Don't cut corners to try to get towards things because you'll mess it up. You know, all these different things is going on. And we're going through uh, so many spiritual awakenings right now where you're allowing yourself to say what I see in myself, what I believe in myself is what truly matters. I'm not looking for validation towards other people. You know, you may hear people come back and tell you different things like such and such is saying this. You know, and I used to be like, thank you for giving me the, you know, the heads up on that. Now it's just I'm a type of vibration. It's like, oh, this is what's been said. Oh, okay. But my question is, why do they feel so comfortable in saying that in front of you? <laughs> you know, and it'll be those type of things where if it's being said, because a lot of times, you know, if a real G or person is really, you know, got you that really got your back. It's like, hey, there may be something that's going to come to you and say it, but I already took care of you. are like, oh, well, what happened? Mm -mm. I'm just letting you know, hey, this, you know, they may tell you what happened and say I already took care of it. And you know, and those things, as soon as I said that, that daggone light went flashing again. I don't know what that is to keep on being in this corner. Because it's like, you can see that light. You can see this light. I got a ring light. And I got my fan light over here. And I got my other lamp right there. But it, it's just like, I don't, I don't know. And my phone is right here, so it's not even on. But it's, it's just like you're going through different things where you really being tested. You know, I, like I said, I always tie that person. When you really come at me like that, I'm, I'm like that. I don't throw a rock and hide a hand. I had to deal with a lot of that during my situation where people, I oh, you, it's not me. I'm not doing that. No, and knowing the man where you are. Be like, shoot, am I good? Am I intuitive telling me that? That everybody on the hater payroll, I'm going to allow yourself to be. I'm going to move accordingly with that. Okay, I'm going to just stay in my lane. Worry about me. I ain't got time to be sitting up here worrying about what people are doing behind my back, what they trying to pin me on, what they trying to do to me. Because I already know if it's not supposed to be touching me, it's not teaching me, healing me, or for me, me for forgive somebody, which, you know, I'm strongly doing every day. And that's what they're telling you to do. Forgive those people every day because it's just the fact is where universe if universe is giving your warnings like hey you know cut away from the toxic because you you know toxic trauma bonding toxic attachments um uh karmic cycles karmic bonding is all being cleared right now they're telling you let go of the things that's no longer serving you allow yourself to stay focused on what you're trying to focus on within yourself not focusing on the universe because that means you place some resistance in it not focusing on the past because the past is your greatest inspiration to get, prepare you for your future so they're telling you to learn from the past learn what people have really showed you seeing how people really felt about you you know the love you um you know where the love you were giving other people was it being reciprocated okay it may hurt deep but allowing yourself to know you you worth love if people don't want to give you that and they want to spill hate Add more love to your life. If people want to say something bad about you, that's showing you how much they feel about themselves. Only you validate yourself. You know, when people want, people don't like when you heal. You know, it's just like, I'm not trying to, you know, dig at nobody. But it's just the fact is when you keep it real, you keep it authentic, and you keep it consistent with yourself, you always going to trigger your enemy. Don't be always trying to seek for revenge with people. You know, when you seek for revenge, it's basically showing you you got power over what they're trying to do to you. You're giving exactly what the enemy and the devil wants, and that's exactly what they're doing. You know, a lot of times it's hard to stay in your moment of peace, but your character will always outride somebody's title or what they want to be seen as. You have to be able to understand that. When you stay consistent and being very aggressive with yourself, like, look, I'm trying to reach your potential and me playing around with you and your inconsistencies and your insecurity, insecurities, your intimidation and your fears ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm trying to focus on this and ain't got nothing to do with that. And I'm, I'm just going to stay in my peace. And that's where you're really going to be challenged at. That your power and your, you know, your focus is really going to be challenged is that because people are doing that with you. They see that potential in you and they want you to be able to second guess it. They want you to feel like they got power over your life. God only got power over your life. You don't have power over your life. The only thing you got power and control over is how you see things, how you move towards them, how you let go of them, how you go through it, go through it swift and change. When they're telling you to move, you move accordingly just like that. Okay? It's, it's just the best way to revenge on towards your enemies is stay happy. 
Stay consistent with yourself. Keep doing what God asks you to do. Don't allow somebody to take you off your path. Because it's like the closer you keep getting, the more folks want to start acting up. You know, if you getting that on um so, so, what do you call it? So, you getting those um those indications on something good coming. Half of the time, your folks be so focused on you, they doing it too. So they want to make sure they can, you know, taking you out of your peace because they're more at war with themselves. And it's just like you have to understand what God was giving you those warnings. Trust and believe they were giving your your enemies that too. Just because you don't know every single person that has done things to you, want, whether it is it's just like sabotaging you, you know, placing black magic on you, hexes, curses, tides, and all that stuff, you know, doing any kind of sabotage or, you know, just trying to instigate things. You may not know everything that's going on, but karma and God, universe and your gods do. And it's at that point where they say they're tired of talking. We want to show you better than we can tell you, you know, and it is just like, you know what's been going on into your life you know what's been making moves even if you don't know point a to point b to point d when god tell you don't worry about it and it, you bringing it to god before you bring it towards the person that you really having beef with take it to god take it to your guides take it to your loved ones that are passed over because this is a lot of times where you can't even trust your family because your family will mess you up quicker than friends will you know so this is at that time where you really need to stay focused on you. Whatever you come in close against, you getting very hot on that. And when you're staying hot on that, that is just people that's really trying to make sure that they doing that. Because right now, from what Universe is saying, they scared. <laughs> and when people scared like that, they, they desperate time come for desperate measures. And they all regroup and they got always re-strategize. Because they understand it. it's like every time they keep trying to put stuff on you, it's like you got a shield on that. And they really trying to understand. Because I know it would be different times like, why every time I turn around? Because the more you clear, the more you, you, you more def you'll feel you get indications about a quick shift. Or you'll feel the heaviness. Or you'll feel sadness or rage coming in for no apparent reason. So you know. You know, because it's like if you got lineages of uh, voodoo, of uh, witchery and stuff like that, and they always don't have to be negative. Because as soon as you say witchery and voodoo and stuff like that, people want to think about, you know, negative and evil stuff. But everything got a balance to it. And when you're more secure about your powers and the stuff that you got, you'll start knowing, you know, you, you got family that's protecting, you got family that's guiding you. You got a shield on that. And if it's like that where people got to continue to keep doing that, there's obviously it's not working. And if it's con connecting with you in that way, it's supposed to be teaching you something. Something you need to learn deeper values about yourself. And as soon as I keep saying that, that they're going to like keep popping up. You know, and you're, you're doing these different things by learning through the mishaps you're having with other people. Because every time it does, it's rerouting you to yourself. Like I said, I keep telling people, the more you keep placing dark energy on people, the more weight you're going to add towards your life. Don't sit up here and force all this stuff on somebody. And I figure because it's been happening so long, you getting away with something. No, it's just adding towards your debt that clearly God and karma about to come collect. And when it does, you know how they say a, a law, a law of attraction of cause and effect. That's why it's like always good where even your enemies, you place in love and healing into your life because they need that. You can't add pain towards somebody who already, you know, moving through pain and confusion already it is. You're not adding nothing to that. It's not penetrating them that. When you need to do that, penetrate them with love, compassion. That irritates the hell out of somebody like that. Don't place revenge on them. Do your work. People are like, oh, I can't move past black magic. Do your work. You killing demons and slaying demons every day when you can wake up in the morning and thank God for even living when it's just the fact is you don't even want to be here no more. When you take a walk, you talk to nature, you wish in kindness even to people you don't know. You praying for your enemies, that's doing the work. That's disrupting the, the devil's agenda, okay? Because it's just the fact is the devil's setting up all them folks that he got and don't realize when it get hot, then he gonna drop you. He was like, well, you promised me that I, I don't get the devil always, the, the greatest lie he ever pulled is the ones he say he don't exist. And we can clearly see that around the world. He exists. You know, he really do. But this is at the time where they're telling you, stay focused on you. Okay, stay focused on whatever God is, whatever path he got you on, on healing. Whether it's you're adding love to yourself. you being more confident with yourself. Being patient with yourself. It took a long time to get to where you got. Even if you're not where exactly where you need to be. Allowing yourself to know every day is not going to be 
sunshine and rainbows. You ain't going to be tiptoeing through the tulips every day. There'll be sometimes you're going to be on that Raw Head Rex, uh, Dag on Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, Final Destination type vibration. It's just going to be there. Death Wish and everything else. Okay, it's going to be like that because that's what warriors do. He's going to really put you in some situations, going to really show you how bold and beastly you are. Because these are those times where you can override the things that people have placed on you. And there's a lot of things that you are, you are facing. You're healing from. You're letting go from that people don't know about. And a lot of times we question our worth. We question our strength and all that. And they know it is hard for you to have to get through the stuff you get through every day. You know, you can look at yourself a lot of times and you... It's hard to fall in love with what you see because a lot of times we see what we're going through and not seeing what we have overcome. I had to say that. They say, say that again. Don't look at yourself about what you're going through. Look at yourself on what you have overcome because there's a lot of things that your enemies want to haul butt from going the opposite direction. The universe made you sit up here and go through. And if they sit up here allowing you to see, it's like so many times they'll show you so many enemies. Like you can sit up here and be the most truest person to somebody. And they won't, when they have that opportunity to stab you in their back, they, they don't have no problem with stabbing you in your back like that. I've been there. Like that, that hurt deep. Like I ain't even hurt you. And then you doing this to me? That universe really wants you to know. I want you to see what their intentions was. Their intentions were for themselves. It wasn't for you, even though you. You did some selfless stuff for them. They were in a selfish vibration. They wanted you to see their intention for that person. Move accordingly. Get them out your life. Allow yourself to... Don't, don't stay in the middle of the door. When they clearly try to close it. And if somebody... You know, you clearing your karma. And they're telling you karma's clear. And people keep trying to brag... Drag you into that. And pull you into that. Let that be on them. But... What you're doing is you send in love and compassion towards that person because it's disturbing the heck out of them that you're allowing yourself to keep it real. You're keeping it very authentic. People don't like that because it, it overrides people's facade, how they, their persona, or whatever it is. People, a lot of people like having that mask. I say, I like my face. <laughs> I like my face. That that lie, you want to do that lie. I'm allowing you to do that. Rosalind, they said this and this about you. Okay. And if you really know me like you know me, you already knew that was a lie. But it's okay. He's like, you ain't going to but for what? I know that's not me. I know what I do. If you want to lie on my body, you go ahead and lie on my body. You want to lie on what I say. You want to pull dirt on me. I don't already put my dirt out here for people to know. And just to say, my dirt doesn't sit up here and allow me to grow. Okay? There are a lot of people like, oh my God, I don't want this, I don't want that. People sit up here and judge you and trying to throw dirt on you because they don't like the good that's in you. You favor, but they always want to stay focused on your flaws and your faults. Don't, allow, don't even worry that. You move past that. If they want to focus on that because they want to validate how they feel about you, but also projecting of how they feel about themselves, you keep going. You keep allowing yourself to place, place peace and compassion for that person. Because, it, like I said, just because you don't know all the things that's been done, trust and believe God knows everything that has been done that went against you. And everything that is going against you that every, they think that they done got away with. When God get quiet, that's when you should get scared. I get, I, I, I'm worried. I, I'm out of, uh, what do they call it, uh, fear of man person. I'm a God fearing person. But if you really want to be intimidated by something, be intimidated by the most quietest person in the room quietest person in the room because it's just like I'll be seeing different things and it made me think about certain family members I'm like Lord those are the most quietest ones you didn't even you know I'll be looking at something especially my grandfather I'm like I've never seen you ever even though I ain't physically met you but spiritually I see you never come out of tone I'm like do you, do you ever do that and only once or twice I've actually seen him do that and actually show emotion that was very weird for me but it, it's just like those are the type of people all them wild 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 person though <laughs> it was like, no, we don't have to worry about it. But knowing you're divinely protected, okay? You stay in your lane. And no matter if somebody trying to pull you out of your 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 peace, you have to be able before you allow yourself. And sometimes it depends on what kind of character you have. Sometimes we we react before we think. And this is at that time where you in your vibration where you need to think before you act. You need to go ahead and 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 make sure what you opening your mouth up for is gonna be worth it. Okay, don't allow yourself to get in stuff like that because if your karma is clear, you don't want to be dealing with that type of situation. Because right now, when I say 
universe is tired of talking and tired of being like, okay, you don't want to listen to what I'm saying. You know, I would want you to know that's just like when you, you know, if you're you're a parent or you, you know, you a child and get to that point where your parent tired of talking to you. And then when they do, they sometimes they get you a whooping or sometimes it is just like a lot of times, you know, it, it was like that. I used to pop my children and stuff like that. But when I went through a lot of stuff that I went through, I stopped doing that. I said, what you can really start breaking their dag on hold the souls with, start taking away them phones, start taking away them computers. You know, get, keep the remotes and stuff in, in, in the devices for they can't do that. That'll be straight torture. If you ain't using it for homework and you're using it for homework and you, you know, you need to do it and then bring it right back. I'm not about to play with you. Because it's like you can pop somebody and they'll just hurt their soul for a minute, you know, and then they'll be right back doing what they want to do. But it'll be a lot of times universe. Well, no, it's at this time right now. Because a lot of time, well, I'll be telling people, when you you can use so much of that energy you place on trying to harm other people and trying to do all you can to overturn what God got for somebody, using that on yourself. Stay focused on yourself. But since you want to keep staying focused on somebody else, God about to show you what's going to happen since you want to clearly be ignoring what he tell you. Because it's like now, it's, it's at that point where it at, I can show you better than I can tell you. And I'm like, oh shit. What you say? Mm -mm. I'm, I'm staying over here. I'm minding my own business while you you doing all that. <laughs> He's like, what you know? I said, I'm a bad beast, but there'll be something. That's not my fight. <laughs> That's not my fight. That's not your fight either. But you you wish love and blessings towards people like that. The best way you getting at it, back at your haters, be happy. Staying in your peace. Keep being abundant through the stuff that you working on to aim to be a better person. That will be the best revenge you got. Don't out nobody. Don't sit up here and try to prove. Don't be throwing no no. Don't be throwing salt in people. That don't do the things that they doing to you. That's how you keep getting blessed. When you have a chance to be low at somebody, be aim higher. Don't allow somebody to contradict your daggone character about how you feel about yourself because you are the best representation of yourself. Don't sit up here and do that because you got blessing this coming. Don't block your blessings by acting ugly with somebody because they want to be able to do that. They want to be at war, allow them to stay at war. But you wishing peace over that. You want to penetrate somebody's soul by doing some stuff. This is the way you do it. Place love on them. I love you, enemy. I know I got a lot of them watching me. I love you. And I'm sitting healing towards your way. You want me to be mad at you? This is you're not. I'm not going to give you what you want. <laughs> I'm just not going to do that. I'm going to be in my peace. You know, when you got too many things that's going good on for your life, I ain't got time to be, I don't got time to be holding grudges. That's what I used to do. Now I'm just like, I'm going to let go, let go, I deal with you. Let karma do with you. Because God and karma can do far more damage than a person can ever do. Okay? Just allow yourself to do that. If God's telling you to mind your business and stay focused on this, even though, like, but they do, okay, don't worry about them. It's like how my, how my mom just say, don't worry about them. You worry about you over here. Okay, because God about to God about to handle that. You just still wish forgiveness on that person. Don't wish nothing on them because they already going through the mess they going through. And just already know God about to show up and show up out in your life. Everything that people keep doing in the dark is about to be fronted on. It's about to be spotlighted. I don't care what anybody tell you. It's going to be spotlighted. So you keep going and doing what you need to do. Keep focusing on yourself. Keep growing. Because you got so many beautiful things that's coming into your life. You're becoming that person that you didn't know you were. You're becoming that person that the universe and your guides and your loved ones that pass on has already seen in you a long time ago. So allow yourself to know your worth. Put that love into yourself. Give that, that love to other people that are wanting to be open to that is going to be reciprocated. Even the ones that don't, you send that mess from a distance to keep doing you. And I would love, 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 love to give a post notification shout out to Delinda. Much love to you as well. And Ferris. Uh, I said, yeah, Farrah. I don't know why I was thinking about some, Ferris Bueller. I don't know why I was thinking about that. Farrah has it. Much love to you as well. Um, I leave all my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking. You know, just being able to get to know you as you get to know me on a deeper level and it's just all about teacher student different things it's just a blessing when we can help each other heal you know uh being able to have a deeper understanding about our path of purpose and we're going through you know our tribal connections which is truly a blessing so whatever we speak on is you know confidential and i try to help out the best way i can 
and it's just being able to get to know you on a deeper level you know i hope you know whatever i speak on is like i said it's not disrespect anybody make anybody feel small or anything like that but when you know you're being true to yourself and you're speaking through your light and your power is always going to intimidate people that choose not to do that but you still still send blessings towards their way as well um if you're interested in podcasting and you know i do my own podcasting as well i have that on my community page and if you're ever on my community page i'll leave that on there as well as you know um uh empathic uh quotes or different things when we're going through powerful uh uh, what is the astrological shifts and dormant uh, portals that are opening as well as shifting like they are right now because it's very intensified because something not open I feel it, it it open because you'll just know there's something that you really truly can't touch on and everything is intensified so that's why they're telling you focus on you <laughs> okay focus on you um what else did I have to say oh yeah if you're ever generous enough to make a donation you know cash app is there as well um and uh, whatever you're trying to manifest into your life, whatever vibrations you're needing, I'm sending that to you a million fold. Stay persistent and consistent. Determined. If you got to take a break, take a pause for the cause. But do not quit. Do not give up on yourself. You never know how close you are to your destiny of um, unlimited possibility of doors open up for you because one door can close and like about eight of them can open for you on, along with some windows and shades and stuff like that so you keep on going as soon as i said it my tip of my nose it, itching so that's for anybody that, that's uh watching this video and um just staying persistent and consistent on yourself don't sleep on yourself stay woke you know because you're really about to discover something truly amazing about yourself that the devil is hoping and praying that you really don't because he'll try to send him as well as other people to make you uh, doubt your potential as well as want to dim your light. Don't do that because it'll be something he wants you to give up today and just because he'll have something fly open and open for you tomorrow. Keep on going. You know, anything that's worth the wait is going to be more than what you expected. So, you'll see me on my next video. Uh, even uh, do all um, you know, the social distancing. Make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words about frequencies. You never know. All those things can really take somebody a long way. Have a blessed, safe weekend. Please be be safe and responsible at everything you do. Much love to you. Shalom. God bless. Um, uh, I say namaste. You know, uh, let your, your, your path be divinely guided as well as protected towards everything you do. Much love to you. God bless. Peace.